hello guys welcome to the new video in today's video we are going to learn how to build how to use laravel spatty roles and permissions uh, in uh, laravel vue.js project we will see how to use castle library to align uh, castle library with uh, spatty roles and permissions and second we will use vue xc theme uh, uh, which has some great features we will use beautify a component library for our uh, view application so we will do all these things in practical steps i have made a practical project i will show you uh, the front end uh, what i have built and then i will show you the back end how the things are built which approach i have used so let's move on we to are the going coding to use view xc admin template in our this tutorial which is based on beautify composition api and laravel beautify is basically a view component framework uh, and we don't need specific uh, design skills to use it. It is best to be used with uh, Vue.js components. And for Vue XE, we have used uh, Vue plus Laravel API. So we are going to use API based approach in our this Laravel project. And this will be our admin template. Beside that, we are going to use Patty roles and permissions. And we are going to align those uh, roles and permissions with Castle uh, View library. They have a specific package, separate package for uh, Vue.js. You can see it has React, Vue, and different uh, packages. So in our this project, we have used Castle View. So let's move to our uh, end product. This is our end product. This is my login page. So first of all, I'm going to login uh, using Super Admin. This is our dashboard. Uh, super admin have access to all the things in our this application like this is the second page this is rector page this these are different pages this is a faculty page beside that we have these roles and permissions you can see these are our roles which are uh, exist uh, which exist in our system these are all dynamic coming from backend these are our permissions and these are our modules basically i have set the roles and permissions uh, based on modules like we will have uh, a module and we will assign different permissions to that module like let's suppose let me show you this if we want to edit the permissions of super admin you can see these permissions are assigned to the super admin like we have this module and it has these different permissions okay like module permission role user student these are different modules which will be in our project so in similar way we have this faculty um, role which have these permissions okay you can see so we are managing this in this way uh, module based roles and permissions we can add new role here enter the role name and then we will assign the permissions to it so here are the users uh, which role they have you can see uh, let's suppose we want to edit a ro uh, user let's rename it to Jawad one and update it it's being updated and you can see it's Jawad one now in similar way we can delete it okay and uh, let me show you uh, other users uh, like rector or faculty what they will see based on roles and permissions so now i'm going to use the rector role and rector is uh, logged in now you can see his uh, this is his test rector name and role is rector uh, he can see this rector page and he can't see the other uh, like we have faculty page etc uh, i have just given him the modules access he can just read those modules listing and he can't uh, perform any other actions on this area how i have managed or hide these things on front end i will show you that later in the code section uh, like here we can have add new module and this facility is being assigned to uh, rector role second role was uh, related to faculty if i'm not wrong it's faculty at ums.com and password is this no let me confirm from yeah it's example.com login one more time and sorry here is this email and here is the password for the faculty this second page for faculty and this is the um, faculty page you can see he can't see any other things one more thing i would like to show you on inspection 
you can see that in our console when a user gets login he he is being granted all these access token token type and user abilities rules like we are now logged in with the faculty role and he has read permissions for faculty create update delete on faculty he has read uh, permission for dashboard and write permission for dashboard basically this is our dashboard so he can read all those things so this is basically done with La laravel um, spatty package and for the front end we have used castle thing so um, let's uh, move to the coding area how the things are being done so here is my project setup first of all i would like to show you the index page for modules this is my index page for modules in which uh, i have used composables uh, on vue.js site in composable i have uh, shifted my all uh, logic or brain of this component to use modules in use modules we have all the logic for uh, modules uh, section so basically here we have these uh, states uh, dialogues snack bar etc first of all you can see that all modules uh, we have assigned a ref uh, to it it's a ref uh, state it's loading these are all our variables so first of all we are getting uh, all modules using this uh, function which is fetch modules and we are calling our api here and we are assigning all modules to or this uh, variable and then we are passing all these uh, use modules dot js uh, constants we are exporting in this way you can see here we have called that composable okay and here are the constants these are the headers like as you have seen in the browser we have module name we have actions and this is the id here we are using v data tables we are passing the filter modules items here loading uh, state items per page etc here you can see that we have used castle abilities uh, if the user have update ability on the subject or our module is uh, the subject here then he can see the update button and if he has the delete uh, ability on subject module subject is basically uh, the the area on which we are working in castle pattern so as you saw in our demo uh, rector was not able to see rector role was not able to see these buttons because uh, he does not have those abilities or permissions beside that here is our add edit module dialog which is here in our components area and we have passed these props to it from our index dot view here we are passing the props is dialog visible is editing and module data and we are getting back these events uh, from add edit module dialog so uh, let me show you other thing like when we click on uh, edit dialog you can see that open edit dialog is being called which is here and we are using it here it's being defined here current editing module and is dialog all data is passed to these variables which are reactive and then we are passing those uh, variables as props to our add edit module dialog you can see it here and then from add edit dialog we are emitting these events for update or save when we get our props we are using watch and when we get this if it's open then we are passing our uh, id and name of the module to our form data and here is our emit event for the close dialog on which we are setting is dialog visible property to false on submit we are uh, we are validating the data and here is our text fields you can see on click we are doing this on submit uh, on click submit we are calling all these things so basically we have used composable patterns for our Vue.js application beside that uh, I have used totally uh, action patterns in our uh, this application here is our module controller you can see that our controllers are very thin in size we are passing all our actions to 
action patterns like you can see in here I have defined actions here is the modules actions and here are the separate uh, action classes for each action like you can see get module collection we are doing in this way for store we are doing in this way and we have used these store module requests requests from uh, Laravel and here is our update module let me show you our update module request here we are authorizing the user if he has uh, spatty edit module permission then he can perform this action otherwise he will get a board error okay these are the validations rules for our uh, module sections then these are our resources as we are using api based approach so this is our uh, module resource you can see we have defined all these things beside that this is our um, section for modules which i told earlier in the video that each permissions uh, ha will have a module id each permission will have a module id so a module have uh, different permissions and we have used the module id in that so it's uh, has many relationship uh, here is our permission model i have extended the spatty permission base model here you can see and then i have defined my this uh, relationship eloquent relationship on that class or that model similarly here is our role model and i have uh, extended the spatty base role model and defined some uh, relationship of role with users similarly here is our users which is normally uh, came or created for us when we install or create any laravel object i have used has role has api token uh, traits here then uh, in our app service provider you can see i have defined these modules uh, um, policy mod uh, module policies or you can say policies here and have different policies for users let me show you module policy in module policy i have this view any view create update or delete permissions uh, on backend so on front end we are managing our roles and permissions using castle and our roles and permissions are um, passed to the front end using uh, spatty roles and permissions so in this way we are managing our uh, backend uh, using spatty roles and permissions while on the front end we have used castle uh, thing uh, one more thing to show you here is that uh, you can see that let me I ha yes I have made this change uh, in which I have uh, added these checks for add new module if the user have create permission or create ability so I'm going to push this to live So you will see that uh, I have defined uh, uh, CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous development uh, here in R, uh, this YAML file. So basically be on each and every push or pull request are these Laravel test cases will run. If uh, those are being satisfied, then our uh, push or pull request will be successful. So let's, let's push it. And here is our workflow let me refresh it so you can see that our actions are running laravel tests so as it's running i will show you the test cases i have defined for all these things these are tests for modules and these are tests for permissions so modules api tests these are different test cases i have been running like uh, user cannot access without authentication and unauthenticated user cannot access the modules uh, an authorized user can view the module list or a module having permissions cannot be deleted these are different test cases so let me show you composer our composer json a file here i have used uh, the nuno maduro way uh, in which he defined these uh, things for all uh, 
for the best practices of uh, Laravel application like I have used Rector PHP Pint and I'm using uh, uh, these commands to dry run the things I have used lint type coverage uh, and in this way I'm running my test uh, cases I have used best so let's run the composer lint it's passing 75 files let's do composer refecto sorry composer refecto so rector is running rector is gone it's all green uh, and let's now run the final test so rector is green point each and everything is passing you can see the green test uh, cases here one thing i have done here you can see that i have used minimum type coverage to 20 percent we can increase it to minimum 70 or 80 percent so for the now for now our test cases are okay and i have missed some uh, type hints or type returns in these modules that's why their percentage is zero so in this module we have used uh, Nuno Maduro ways how to test a PHP or Laravel application, how to use best uh, things in our development. You can see we have used PHP stand for our application, which have this neon file. I have set the level to one and we can increase it gradually. Here is our rector. What files should be uh, tests using rector, etc. Here we have used Laravel uh, level set list. Uh, a different command uh, different package i have installed it for uh, these uh, this is known as rector laravel so all that's all for this uh, demo uh, i hope you would like this uh, in which i have uh, followed the best practices uh, for laravel and vue.js uh, side we have used uh, policies we have used action patterns we have used uh, uh, github workflows so that's all from my side thank you for watching my video bye bye